Hello and welcome to the Clock and Talk, an Arsenal podcast. I'm your host, Tez. You can give me at Guna Tez. Um, and as we go live, Addy has dropped off the face of the earth just like that. <laughs> Tony, how are you, buddy? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Pretty pleased that our intro is no longer three weeks long. That, that, that's good. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm bored with the international break, as I can imagine most people are when there's not a tournament on. And as I put out on Twitter the other day, if you're bored of the international break, watch Money Heist. But if you're like me and finish Money Heist within a day, uh, feel free to recommend some series in the comments because, yeah, there's, we've got, what, five days till Arsenal are back and, yeah, ideas, people, and none of this usual nonsense is stuff I'm just not going to watch. <laughs> Um, I think we are going live on Facebook. Usually we do, but I may have missed that that little window of opportunity because if you go late. Um, so I apologise to those who do tune in on Facebook. I'll check the streams and stuff in a minute. Also, we are testing. I'm still trying to work on Instagram. I have no idea what the fuck's going on there. Uh, we are on YouTube, Twitch, and Periscope. And as I get to that, Addy, how are you, buddy? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How you doing? Good, mate. Good. Always good, you know. Um, actually, <laughs> funny enough, I am absolutely... You know how the Premier League starts and then you have this international break and it's like, I just pump myself to get back into the Premier League and, you know, I've watched Serie A, I've been watching Bundesliga because on the catch-up shit and all that. So I've watched every game of every league for the last three weeks now. But now I'm like... Tony just mentioned Money Heist, he's bored. So I've, I'm unlike Tony, I'm doing like one episode a day so I don't run out of nothing to watch. And it's, I'm do miss football. It's, I don't know what it is. It's this window, this time now, I wish this international break was not here because it's momentum starts and then window closes, momentum's gone for two weeks. It's, but it's the same. It's also like, I think there's three or four games now once we're back and then there's another one. So it's yeah. twice. And then again in November, it, again, three or four games, then it's done. But then from like the end of November, there isn't one till March. So that's mm. when you properly get into it. But it is annoying. It's like, as you said, three or four games break, three or four games break, three or four games break. And then from then, it's just like your, your big stretch. Would you boys rather... Uh, and I just I literally thought of this right now. <laughs> Because we have had an opening shit three games. So <laughs> I wish they could do the international break, maybe start the Premier League four or every league four weeks later and finish these friendlies before then and then go in, or you couldn't do that. You know what I mean? Well, like, yeah, they, but they want, the, they want players to be like in their peaks because people already don't, especially look, okay, maybe it's a bit like arrogant being an English fan, but. The qualifiers in general, they're, they're a load of shit. Like, you know you're going to qualify. I think Spain lost their first qualifier in 28 years the other day. Like, for nations like that, it's just kind of like, come on. Like, yeah, okay. we don't really need these games against Andorra and Hungary and, and whatnot. Um, but the for like UA from FIFA's point of view, they don't want people in pre-season. They want them to say, oh, they're, they're fully up and firing. They actually could do without this break because it runs into the transfer window and all sorts. But the October one makes sense because the Champions League's just started. So they go, oh, all the players are at, at their, I don't know, yeah, their best is the right word, physical peak. But yeah, yeah this yeah. one is just annoying. It clashes with so many things. Yeah, pain in the ass. Um, yeah. you, uh, with, uh, sorry, Adiga. I was, I was just going to say with me, I would actually prefer end of the season, if obviously if, if there isn't a a um a tournament that they actually do a six five six weeks where they literally get majority of the matches done during that period and then you don't have the, as many um matches during the season but then that's that's what i would do they they want it just to i, I don't disagree with you but the reason they don't do that is if you have one player that's like torn a hamstring especially like again for a nation like england when you're playing the likes of Andorra and whatnot, you can be without a Harry Kane or any <laughs> individual player, you can be without them. But if you're a smaller nation, they don't want them to have one injury and it be like it completely af affect the whole campaign. Um, like for a minor, like a little hamstring or whatever. Uh, and especially at the end of the season when fatigue comes in. So the reason it's split is to try and give everyone the best chance that if you've got an injury of a key man that 
he'll probably be back by the next round, unless it's obviously a, a, a season-ending injury. Um, yeah, it's just fucking boring, and that's why we're, I'm whinging. <laughs> it's fucking boring. Um, transfer window done and dusted. We haven't recorded. Did we record after the window closed? No, uh, day before. Day before. So, Tony... There was some exciting news. Um, we ended up getting a right back on deadline day, which many had, I'll be honest, we're sitting here tossing ideas up on right back at the time. Um, never a, 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 a name that come to my head. Um, you, 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 you ever thought that or not? To be honest, all I knew about him was that Tottenham had been trying to basically sign him all summer, but obviously they'd yeah. agreed with Royale that day and I don't know why Tottenham couldn't get it over the line or if he what happened there but yeah I, I don't know I, as I said I don't really watch too much Syria so I don't really know much if anything about him I've seen what YouTube shows me but everyone yep. looks great on, on YouTube so I, I, I know, like again I've seen stats but I've never cared for stats as the, the new t-shirt you're selling says watch football with your eyes um, <laughs> But yes, yeah. I'll so I, I know, yeah. A little plug. Uh, I know nothing about him, to be honest. Yep, yep. Um, Addy, you're and and Tommy. I'm just Tommy's. I can't think of his last name. I Tom, no, no, Tommy Asin. Say again. I, it's, it's, I think it's Tommy or Tommy Tommy Asin. Tommy yeah, yeah. Asin. Tommy um, just did. That's yeah, his name. he's getting Tommy out of me. So. <laughs> um, oh, go swim, fucking hell. Um, Addy, your your take on it? Um, similar to Tony, um, <coughs> didn't know he was on our radar. Uh, came out of nowhere. Uh, obviously, he just that he's someone that's gonna come in and and actually hit the ground running because um, obviously that that was a, a problem area. And hopefully it gets sorted. Mm. And that's that's all you can really ask for. I I said to you boys in the chat because um a couple of lads in the chat and if you want another plug if you want to get to the tel uh, the Telegram chat it's for patrons only so um yeah it, it, DM me I'll hook you up with Patreon you can get in for a dollar so it's just to support the podcast basically um because a lot of people did ask me how to get in this Telegram chat so. I was saying to the boy after we signed him, um, I think Liam and a few of the other lads were asking, um, you know, what's he like? And one thing, I, I watch a little bit of J-League. I watch, um, oh, I tried to watch Chinese Super League and it is so fucking boring. But I was watching a bit of the J-League before Premier League started and one thing I will say about um, the players in Japan is they, they give everything. Like, they fucking do not... They, they leave nothing, you know, for dance. They just give everything. So I like this about him, and I'm not just saying, you know, J League players are like this, but he is one of them players who will give everything he can out on the field. Like, you know, sometimes we sit here and we go, Bellerin's a little bit lazy. We felt his heart wasn't in it. And, you know, there's some stupid poor errors, things like that. This bloke, I can't. He will he will give one hundred and ten percent, and that's what I like about it. However, my problem is his massive weaknesses because um, he his massive weakness is he can't cross a fucking ball. Now I know people are going to sit there and say, "Oh yeah, but have you seen this on YouTube? He did that. He did this." Yeah, nah. He's no Tierney crossing a ball like Tierney does on the left and and whatnot. So he's going to be relying a little bit on Pepe, I'd imagine. Um, our dynamic of attack might change a little bit. Uh, he might get so far up, maybe. I just, you know, I haven't seen how we're set up on how we're playing yet, but that's what I'm kind of thinking. Is, and I don't mind that. I think it's it's a good thing. So because we're always seem short down that right hand side, and, and when Bellerin was playing as well, so that's no negative. But that is a negative against him. Is he just can't cross? Well, the that's. Ball. My, my my biggest worry is that attacking wise, I mean we've had a, a horrible left side bias for a long time now, and I think we're all hoping for a right back that would uh, help balance that. 
so we could sort yeah. of speak equally down the other side. And that's not what we've got. Um, again, nothing against him. He could be fantastic, but he's not going to be bombing on, overlapping and, and whipping balls in. Yeah. I mean, what is going to happen is we're essentially going to have a back three, which may sort out our left side bias if we've got decent people on the right, because as it's, it's, I think it seems pretty clear we're going to be 3-4-3, three, three mm. especially when we've got the ball with, with KT pushed on. And then it depends who who is the right of the four. Can they do a similar job to KT on the other side? We'll wait and see. But I think profile-wise, he's not what I would have wanted in a four if we're going to continue a four two three one. But I don't think that's what we're going to do. It, that's yeah. how it would be on paper, but that's not what it will actually be on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. I don't... I Moving forward, I... I you know, obviously, Arteta's um, got a plan because he wanted him. So I, I couldn't imagine he's gone last day and shit, how many right-backs have we got left to go for? And that's the bloke. Because... I don't think I heard any other names. Was there was there any other names throughout the whole window on a right back? Uh, Emerson Royal. That's the only other one I actually heard. The one that Tottenham actually signed. That was the only yeah, guy okay. I, I knew was we were in for. But yeah, yeah. It's dry, I think but... we were trying to do a swap deal. I think we was trying to do a swap deal with um, with Barcelona, but they wanted more cash. To, to, for for the swap with Barcelona and Emerson Royal. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, so, you know, it, it came out of nowhere for me, so oh, I guess there's a plan. Um, oh, boys, I've seen lots of people this week in the media and whatnot talking about how do you rate this window, so I have to ask you, boys, how do you rate this window, Tony? Uh, it's a really <coughs> difficult one because it's not for now, as I've been saying for ages. Like we overspent on some players, we got a lot of what we needed. As I said, just not for now. Uh, I still think we missed out massively in centre midfield, and mm-hmm. I think the ins the ins are not the worst. I think the outs are more of the problem. That I mean, we're sitting here now with still Kolasinac and any Lacazette on the books, and Lacazette's obviously going to go for free next year. Leno's still on the books, who doesn't overly want to be there. A lot of the players we only got out on loan and we didn't get fees for, looking at people like Hector. Then you've got Ainsley, who's clearly furious at still being at the club, who we couldn't ship out or wouldn't ship out, whatever way you want to look at that. So it, it's, a, it's been a real mixed window for me. I, I wouldn't say it's been a success, but I wouldn't say it's been a failure. Mm. Addy? Um... I, I put I gave this window a three out of ten. And I gave it a three out of ten because three out of ten. Wow. Yeah, a three out of ten because we did not actually address our problem areas, and we didn't address them properly. And and the fact that we actually spent the amount of money we did, like I, I feel that we we um. We, we could have spent the money more wisely. Um, again, I agree with Tony. We didn't get the players out that we should have gotten out. And and I think with certain players, you have to bite the bullet and, and take a hit and, and say, oh, we're not going to get as much money uh, for them. But then, but then you, you recoup that money. And then, uh, again, you, 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 spend, you spend on somebody that you really need. So, for example, my thing with Xhaka, I, I feel Xhaka should have left. Um, but then again, with Xhaka staying, we brought in Lokanga. El Nenny shouldn't be a backup. But then, basically, Lokanga, as an 18-year-old, is going to have a lot on his shoulders this year. Because, again, now, automatically, he's played how many games? I think uh, two out of three games this year, um, already this season. And... Uh, Shaka's already um, Shaka's already um, suspended. Mm. Uh, Party's been injured, so he's gonna have. And for an 18-year-old to come into the Premier League uh, and do that straight away, just he's, he's 21. For him. He's 21. Sorry, 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 he's, sorry. He's sorry. 21. <coughs> sorry, 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 sorry. But yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but I see where I, you're I coming feel, from. Yeah. No, your point. I, I, I your point's feel, right. But... I, I do, I do feel that we, we, sh- our problem area because we, we couldn't create last year. I don't, I don't feel we created 
as much. And we didn't get goals from that area as well, from, from midfield. So it, it, we needed something there. Um, obviously, right back as well. Um, Tommy Asu, yeah, cool. But is he going to be a solution? I don't think so. Um, everyone was talking about a striker. I didn't think we really needed, we, we needed a striker. But again, with Willian going, I still think we're going to be light in the in the in the winger area. But yeah, I I, I just felt that um, yeah we didn't address this window correctly. We didn't get the players out. For example, we rejected a bid for El Neni today. Like, El Neni unfortunately shouldn't be at the club. Like as much as he's a good person to have around oh. the club and anything, but Footballing yeah. wise, it doesn't improve yeah, the club. I, 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 well, I do agree with you. However, I'm glad we didn't take it because, as you just said, party. Um, then you're looking at Lakonga, uh, who's yeah, 21. So, what I'm getting at is El Nani, even though he's not, as you say, a great player. I agree, totally agree with you. But he's he's a guy who can come in and do the job. If we come to that point where, okay, you know, you, look, let's say, for example, we've got, I don't even know the end of the draw, but let's say we've got a couple of teams that we're thinking we can get uh, get on, like Norwich, Burnley, I don't know, Newcastle, and we're lacking midfielders, at least the Onani could come in and, and um, get the job done. If, you know, like touch wood, but if there's a few injuries and things like that, so... Uh, that's the only reason I suggest keep. You know, he's what is he fourth down now? Is he? Where, where does he? Third, fourth party, Granite. Fourth, fourth, probably, fourth, fifth, depending on where yeah, he's Fourth, he? fifth. So yeah, so so he could, you know, and I, I he could come in and get the job done. I guess. Um, what was that a loan deal? Yeah, it would have been, wouldn't it? Or I doubt, I doubt it because he's only got a year left. I mean, it's flaky yeah, okay. because it's only come from Sky Sports who are next to useless. I know, like, <coughs> Addy is probably a bit like me, where we grew up with Sky Sports being the most reliable. They were top tier. Yep. And in the last five years, they've become, like, a laughing stock. Like, they're, they're probably the worst outlet now or, or up there. So when it's only them saying things, sometimes your brain goes back to when Sky were the guys, like, mm-hmm. and you kind of believe what they say, but... I, I'm sceptical if it happened. And, and again, it's, it's a really tough one if they should accept or not, no matter what the fee, fee was, because as you said, we're light on bodies. It's not even about his ability. It's, it's about bodies, especially with like Aziz yeah. going out. I know, yeah. um, I know Arteta loves Patino, but he's 17. Like he surely <laughs> can't be ready for any amount of game. So it makes it tough because especially as I said, like we go into AFCON, if Partey is definitely going to be out, I know Elneny would be there, so it's not really much of a loss, but you are literally just got Lukonga and Granite for January, mm-hmm. which is always yeah. a tough time in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and my, my issue, I think I, I raised this in the group, that you're, I think it's going to force a hand to actually buy somebody um, because you're gonna, you, can't, you can't stay through that period with only two midfielders, unless now you're going to say, is Ainsley going to play in there? Um, is Emil Smith Rowe going to play in there? Like, is Odegaard going to play in there? Like, but then I don't think you could do that. I think it's going to force the club's hand to actually get at whether it's a loan or, or a new sign in. But then that's where my anger will come into it. And, and again, which is why I don't feel we, we address the window correctly. Because now, if they if it does force our hand and we do sign someone, they're going to have to come in and hit the ground running. Like, they're not going to have a period of okay. Let me integrate into the Premier League, and, and we we saw it with Kai Havertz last year, Ziyech last year. It's going to take time to acclimatize to the to the Premier League. Like you, you're not you're not just going to. It's wishful thinking that someone's going to come in and then literally uh, hit the ground running. So yeah, that's 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 the only problem. Again, now if we do sign someone in 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 January, you're going to have to sign someone, whether they're Premier League. To be fair, they have to be Premier League ready. If we do sign one, sign someone in general. Um, okay, so what do you say, three? What do you say, Gintone? Uh I didn't put a number on it, but I'll yeah. go somewhere middle, five or six. So. Yeah, I'm I'm at around about a five or six. You know, I'm I'm not the. I'm happy we spent some money. I'm happy we bought in. You know, uh, this Sambi Kitty looked great. Uh, this right back, Tommy. 
I, I like the bloke's name's Tommy to start with. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I do agree on... Um, well, at, at the point, you know, and, and Addy, you, you brought up Granit, but I'm not overly worried now because he signed that new contract and, hey, it's, it's all positive for us there. You know what I mean? Like, it's, okay, we could sell him next season now. We could sell him the season after or... Or you know, I, I, it's not a case of he's he's not going for free next year like it would have or could have been. Um, so I do See, like that. the only issue with the only issue with that. We're just going to get into a Phil Jones, Chris Smalling situation at um, Man United, where them guys nobody actually picks them up, and we're just offering them new contracts every year, wishfully hoping that somebody offers us a good amount to sell him. But then, oh. granite for us to sell him for for a profit, he needs to have a good season. Impossible. No, it's impossible. Won't be a profit. Won't be a profit now. Yeah, you, you got no. Ch- I, I don't. Yeah, I agree. You got no chance of a profit um, because even next year, you you you're pushing Roma. What were they negotiating? Thirteen or something. Next year at best, you're probably at fifteen. Like, well, we only wanted we only wanted twenty, so it's not. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, well, that's right. The the sky isn't even set for a forty or thirty. It's it's we want twenty, and yeah, like next year it goes down from twenty. It'll be fifteen the year after. You know, you might be twelve, ten. Um, could even be eight. Like, at least you're getting something for him. That's where I'm where I'm kind of thinking. And who knows? He might have a great season this year. And that doesn't reflect on his <laughs> transfer next season. Well, I, I'm not going to say he's had a great season. I think most years. Um, and a lot of, but I do see his weaknesses, and we are coming on the back of three losses, which doesn't help anyone's in that team at the moment. So, um, okay, boys, let's get into it because this is our prediction podcast. Uh, well, I will just ask, yeah, prediction podcast, um, where we sit down and do our season's predictions. Uh, Toby, he's the new kid on the block. He. He's going to pop in this this season at times as well on the pod. Uh, he couldn't make it because he's flying to France. I actually have a laugh, you know. Here we are in lockdown in Australia. They'd be like, oh, I'm just flying to France. I'm like, fuck, you dead. <laughs> um, and Jack, he's doing something. What did he say? Jewish, oh, Jewish New Year. Jewish New Year, yeah. So do we go to say shout out to them followers? I don't know. What is it? I can't Jewish remember what it's called. It's not, is it Russia Shana? Something like that. I can't remember. That might yes. be another thing. Don't quote me on that. No, oh, I'm not even going down that path. So, um, But, yeah, so, anyway, I'll share that with you followers out there. Um, so, that's why Jack couldn't join us. So, me, Tony and Addy. Then, boys, we'll throw in predictions later. Tony, you put out a tweet on the socials for people to get involved. Um, I'll do similar after that on Facebook and wherever else. In saying that, let's. I'm going to start off with our first prediction quickly. Who won the transfer window, boys? Uh, do you know, it's weird because I don't think they've got any stronger in terms of where they're going to come in the league. But it's very hard to not look at it, to look at it and not say Man United. Yeah, I agree. Where, but but it's a difficult one, right? Because. Chelsea have probably improved the most, even though they've only signed Lukaku, really, and Sal. Mm, mm. But you look at United's wing w- window with Varane, Sancho, and Ronaldo, <coughs> and just on like, but it was like us when we won, uh, when we said we won it a few years ago when we signed Pepe and blah blah blah, Sabios, and it was like on paper, yeah, but did it really improve our team massively? Not really, and I think Man United has kind of been the same, but it's a wow. There's a big wow factor around it. So is, yeah, I think yeah. they've won the window in quotes, but I think probably Chelsea have made the biggest improvement. Mm. Um, yeah, look, I, I agree. It's hard to, hard to go past Man United because, uh, yeah, well, they've had, <laughs> they've got players everyone knows too and they're big signings. So I can't even believe how much like Ronaldo, fuck me. He, but I did read he's on 550... Pounds a week, and I'm that's like, a bit less than that. But, is yeah. it? That's a lot of money, isn't it? It's a lot of money. Addy, he's dropped out. He's gone. 
good time to drop out, Addy. <laughs> um, it's one way to blow predictions, isn't it? Yeah, he, his phone probably went flat and he's probably thinking, fuck, fuck, I forgot to charge it. Um, yeah, okay, so I, I'm with you, me and you, but however, I agree totally. Chelsea signed the better players they needed. It was strange to see, you know, Werner, he was the big signing last season and did nothing for him and they spent a shitload of money on Lukaku, so that was crazy. I was actually surprised not to see Werner leave. Because I would have thought he would have tried to push his way out now that he's now playing second fiddle. But maybe unless they run to it top, I doubt it. But yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, I don't know. A lot of players like to give themselves more than a year. And, the, you know, if Tuchel says they're in their plans, they're in multiple competitions. Yeah, I wouldn't mm. even be, be surprised to see him play sort of alongside Lukaku at some point because. Lukaku can make defence if they defend high up, then Werner's pace gets in behind. And if they defend deep, then to stop Werner getting in behind, then Lukaku's strength and aerial ability comes into play. So I wouldn't, not, I'm not saying regularly, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them play together at times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Leif, he's listening to us on Facebook. Uh, he says, is it worth, he's a, he's a Man United fan. So, you know, he's real fucking cheeky at the moment. <laughs> Um, is it worth putting money on Arsenal getting relegated? Lol. <laughs> Fuck off, you idiot. <laughs> um, everyone says that to me this week. Everyone has said that to me this week. Uh, go on, fuck yourselves. Um, <laughs> Addy, you're back with us, mate. Just quickly, before we get on to our predictions, who won the transfer window for you? Uh, for me, uh, Chelsea. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, well, me, I don't know if you heard me and Tony. We 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 both said Chelsea, but well, me and you, can't, I feel it won it. But Chelsea, the, I agreed with Tony. Better signings. Yeah, better signings. No, I, I, I actually didn't even hear you guys. Uh, my phone was messing messing up, but I'm on my laptop now. But um, yeah, no, Chelsea. I think they improve again. They improved in the areas they needed to improve, and yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Exactly what I said. United have made done the wow factor, but. I think in terms of where they finish, they've not really improved, but Chelsea have improved their team the most. That was my answer. Okay. Um, Tony, who's going to take this competition out this year? Uh, for, for people that speak English, he's asking me who I think are going to win the league. Um, <laughs> I, I still think City have got too much, but I think it'll be very tight between them and Chelsea. I think it'll be a close run race. Um, now you're going to sit on the fence. So. Well, we want one team. No, one I, just, team. I think City City <laughs> will win it closer on Chelsea. Right. City? Addy? Yes. Um, I'm actually going Chelsea. I I, I had City down um, initially, uh, but I thought they were going to get a striker. And I, I think they needed a striker. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they didn't. They didn't get that. I think I think they'll do de- 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 thereabouts, but definitely Chelsea. My money's on uh, Chelsea. Yeah, I'm I'm like you, Addy. I, I think City needed a Harry Kane or or somebody. Um, I, I know they can score goals from anywhere in the pitch, and but but I just I feel you know when you're in so many competitions and and they're gonna they try and win it. Let's face it. So I think they're gonna start. You're going to start to see them struggle a little bit halfway through, especially when Champions mm-hmm. League starts. But it's like, well, what's the depth of that team? I know it's got a lot of players, but I mean depth in quality on in up top. That's my, my I suppose. For, it's for me, I don't, I don't really see Aguero as a big loss because while he has been excellent and he's obviously a great player, he wasn't last season. <clears throat> Right. And they pissed the league. They won it by a ridiculous amount of points. So the, if you're talking about losing Aguero from four years ago, then I would say that's a drop off. But like, like if if I was a City fan, I'd like them to sign a striker. But I don't see it. Like they managed to score enough goals last year, and they've got all of the same players plus Grealish. Yeah. Mm. To be fair, I, I think it's obviously what won in the league for me last year was their defense that 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 won it because I don't think they. I think they scored goals, but not not like previous previous seasons. But then I I think now, your Sterling's uh, is he going to provide as much? He's on a little cold patch at the moment. 
Um, obviously, Grealish needs to slowly come in. Folden. Grealish don't a... need to slowly come in, man. Grealish is he's, he's world class. I, like mean, he's there. I, 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 I love Grealish. I love Grealish. But then it's just it's just everybody else. Is Folden gonna gonna be up to scratch? Because again, he's dropped. Or I don't maybe not from City side, but from obviously Euro side, he's he's dropped off a bit. But um. Uh, what, yeah, I mean, I, I, what, what wins wins them stuff is you can't get the fucking ball off them. And Grealish, to me, just makes them even harder to get the ball off. Like, true. I, I, say, I think it'll be really tight, and I'm not even saying that Chelsea's a wrong shout, because for me, they're the two obvious shouts and this whatever way you go. But I, I just think people going, oh, they haven't got a striker, so they're going to drop off. I'm like, well, they didn't have one last year. Nothing. In terms of that, there's... They've added, like, it sounds stupid, but replacing Aguero with Grealish, they've actually added goals because Aguero got two goals last year, I think. <laughs> True. Like, as I'm saying, we're not talking about Aguero four or five years ago when you're talking losing 30 goals. We're talking losing two or three. Mm, interesting. I'm not sure. I, 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 it looks like we've dropped off the face of the earth on uh, YouTube for some reason. So. I apologise to all you guys who are listening on YouTube. You'll have to catch up on the podcast. I, no, I, they're I'm not trying... listening on YouTube. Nah, I know. But, I, but a few did go to Twitch, so maybe they've moved over to Twitch and a few have gone to Twitter. So Anyway, if you guys are, can hear me, I apologise, but you'll be able to get on the podcast. In the meantime, I will try and work a miracle in the background and get it back up and going. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going with Chelsea in all that. After you boys have summed all that up, I'm, I'm with Chelsea, I think. Lukaku will just have way too much. He's a fucking beast. Different player to what he was a few years ago. I think, you know, I'm probably putting him down for a later question later down the road too. Um, top, four ta- <laughs> top four, Tony? Uh, in, in order, City, Chelsea, uh, United, Liverpool. Because of African Cup of Nations. If there was an African Cup of Nations, them to other two would be the other way around. City, I'm just writing this down. City, Chelsea, Chelsea, yep, United, Liverpool, and Liverpool, right? Um, Addy, you probably got the same, I guess. Um, same I've, got, no, no, I've got, yeah, it's same top four, um, but mm. um, different, different order. Order. Chelsea, Chelsea, City. Uh, Liverpool United. Chelsea. See, I'm just, I better write that down. <laughs> City. Chelsea. No, uh, Ch- Chelsea City. Oh, Liverpool. Chelsea was your first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ch- Chelsea top. That's what's currently. Chelsea. Liverpool, did you say? Yeah, yeah. Liverpool no, third. City. No, no, sorry. Chelsea first. Yep. Manchester yep. City second. Liverpool yep. third, and Man United fourth. Okay. I haven't really thought of it, this at all, you know. Um, I'm running with Chelsea, Man United, City, Liverpool. Roughly a little bit different. I think Man United might be the one that Fucking surprises us. I just don't know. Let's see. Chelsea, Man U, City. Excellent podcasting this is, isn't it? A little bit of reception to this shit in the background for me. Yeah, I was um, going to say, you can't just write it down without repeating it back and telling everyone what you we want. just said. I'm hosting the show. I'm trying to fix YouTube. I'm fucking writing your fucking predictions there. I am a one-man band running your fucking bandwagon. <laughs> Golson fan, what do you guys make of the stadium? Looks like it's fading in the sun and the owners don't care. We'll get to that later. Golson fan. Um, next one, Tony. Who's going to win the FA Cup? Uh... Mm, Chelsea. Chelsea. Okay. Addy? I'm going uh, Man United. Man U. I am also going Man U as well. Have you, have you got chickens in the background or something? Yes. I, don't know. I, I think it's next door. I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's not my chickens. Can you hear them? 
They're fucking yeah. noisy. Yeah. Like. yeah, next door. <laughs> I throw a bit of fucking rat sack over there. That'll fuck them chickens. Um, <laughs> League Cup, Tony. This, I mean, it's not even called the League Cup anymore. It's called the Man City Trophy. So yeah. I'll probably go with him. <laughs> yeah, I'm with City. You was all with City? Yeah, yeah. All, all with City. Yep. Champions League? Uh, PSG? Yeah. Yeah, PSG for me as well. Yeah. See, if City had got Kane, yeah, it would it would have been Man City. It would have, even with even with PSG with with Messi. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're bound to win one, aren't they? Like surely yes. they've spent so much money on. So no, they didn't even that, they didn't even spend that much money. They, they got so many guys. Oh yeah, they got there. good deals, but I mean, like, I mean, their, their wage their wage bill yeah. is fucking insane. Ah oh, mate, even yeah, did you see what they were gonna offer Mbappe? Yeah, well, the, the, they, 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 you know they're going balls out for Champions League this year, and they turned down two hundred yeah. million for a guy they know is gone in May. Like, not even. Like, oh, we might keep him. They know he is gone and they're still turning down 200 million. So they're going balls to the wall for the Champions League. And I still, I think, is it they've stopped, Is it this year that they've stopped cup tied? So even if they think they might be a bit behind in January, they're just going by a team's best players. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's fucking insane. They're, they're going balls out this year. Um. Okay, where are you at now? We've got relegation. Oh, fuck it. I've put no thought into this at all. On mine, <laughs> I, I have a I funny did. feeling. No, no. I, look, Crystal Palace. I think they got a hard. Like, and I don't want to say it because you know Vieira is now their coach, but they have. They're going to have a hard season. I think. Like, I watched them play one game there last. I think it was the last week, or whatever it was. But yeah, Drew, and it Drew was. Bastan. Yeah, and they drew West Ham. They looked pretty good. But then the week before, they look like a bus. So it's so. I just don't know. I, they're, they're just one team that comes to mind. Whether I'm just trying to think who else. Um, who come up again? Um, one of them are going to definitely go. Norwich. 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 Brentford. 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 Yeah, but they fucking surprise. They're surprising us, aren't uh, they? Who else came up? Watford. <clears throat> Watford came up. Okay, I'm going to run with. I'm going to go with Newcastle. I think they're going oh, wow. for, for a tough season. Um, I'm going to go with Watford, Newcastle, and Norwich. Yeah, Watford, Newcastle, Norwich. Same three. You're going with that, Tony? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think Newcastle can look okay, but they're a some maximum injury away from absolute disaster. They all hate their manager. The fans will be on his back soon. Ashley won't sack him because he's tight. The fans will get on their back even more. Someone will probably buy some maximum or Wilson in January if they're as pissed off as they're expected to be. And mm. I just think like, the club's a bit of a mess. Only made one sign and the fans are already pissed off. Yeah, yeah. I, I just yeah. think there's a lot, a lot going wrong at that club. But... You never know. If, if St. Maxman and Wilson play like we know they can, then fucking they'll probably come top 10 and make us look like idiots. <laughs> I know, right? It's, but, yeah, I, I say what you're saying. And I've just looked back. Like, they just – they somehow keep getting results, but they just – it just looks like a turmoil of fucking events. Yeah. Addy, who are you going, buddy? I'm going for Norwich. I'm going for Watford. Mm-hmm. I was thinking Brentford, but I think they might they might stay up. Um, I think I think they're good enough at the back to stay yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, I think but so. I'm, too. Go- I'm going. I'm f- going to throw this one in there. I'm going to put Southampton, and I'm going to put South. I'm going to put Southampton because um, I I I feel you need goals. You need to score goals to stay in this league, and I feel that um, Newcastle can get goals. Like even though I know I, I agree with St. Maxim and, and and Wilson, if they if they go out then it's gonna be <laughs> but I think they'll get goals. Um so yeah, which is why I, I do think South Southampton mm, I don't I don't think they score enough goals. 
especially with Ings, Ings gone. I don't, and they replaced him with Arm, Armstrong, I think it is. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people rate him. I, I'm not the biggest fan. He's a good finisher, to be fair. But uh, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because they obviously got a point off United. It's, it's not a bad shout at all. I, I didn't go for him because I really like Hassan Hüttel. I think he's a good manager. I do. I do like him as well. But I don't think he has the players. That's that's the only thing I don't. I think. I think he. Not, I think he has enough to keep them up. Did, did they uh, not Vestergaard, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, so yeah. Um, I. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust their goalkeeper as well. Their goalkeeper's dodgy. <laughs> yeah. No, see that's that's what it is. Like usually, if you've got, a <coughs> you need to have a solid centre back, a solid <laughs> solid keeper, and then someone that can score goals. But yeah, yeah. mate, they, they, he dodgy, he dodgy, dodgy that champ. <laughs> he dodgy <laughs> camp, that bloke. <laughs> Do you know why you've always got to give them a chance? Because every time they get a set piece, it's a chance. Yeah, yeah. If if, if Ward Prowse gets injured, they are fucked. Because oh, they're dangerous. Every second he's on the pitch, they're dangerous. But I'm surprised he's still at Southampton. That's Sandy New Deal as well. I don't know what he's thinking. Oh, mate, I could see him at like Aston madness, Villa. Absolute madness. I, Villa I, tried to sign him. Yeah, literally. That's that's. Yeah, I don't. I'm I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, actually, I seen a um an article. I didn't say a board, but like uh, um the the co sold to Villa. Um, Martinez, Martinez. Emmy. Martinez. Yeah, Emmy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you see? Did you just read it? Like it was. He didn't want to. No, say but it. he mentions Arsenal every time he speaks. He mentions yeah. Arsenal. It's like I like Emmy. I wanted to keep him, as everyone knows. But I'm just fucking bored of him. It's not. Yeah. I mean, he's a bad keeper. I'm just bored every time he like. He just does an interview every day talking about Arsenal. Like yeah. he don't care. That's what I was thinking. He must just talk about Arsenal, Tommy, because uh, this was um goal, which I know they're not up. You know, great thing, but it just come up, and just I was reading this morning, and yeah, you know, he's going, "Oh, he really did want to sign for Arsenal, you know, like this and that." Yeah, when he first signed oh, for him in two thousand eight, I did it for my family to send money to my family, and and they never gave me a chance, and blah blah, fucking blah. And I just thought, what the fuck is this? Why is he talking Mate, about Arsenal constantly? Like, it, it was his dream to sign for Arsenal. Like, don't, like, no one can tell me that. He just That's ran out of things to say about sure. Arsenal. Yeah. He just ran out, so now he's just started making stuff up. Like, just shut up. Like, you're a good keeper. Go be good. Just stop talking. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, okay, that was relegation. Now we've got flop player. So this is a player who signed. Oh, uh, yeah, and you've you've put it in there as a flop. So. You know, obviously, Will Ronaldo flop. Um, yeah, somebody like that. It can't be some fucking. Well, you can't say Sambi, for example, because what he wasn't anyone to. Yeah, yeah. So, well, that's not, yeah. yeah. So, my my answer, and again, you've got to remember, like price tag and stuff is relative, as you're saying, because like I'm going Sancho, and that's not he might get five goals, five assists, but when you pay 70-odd million or even 10... Like, okay, 10 goals probably wouldn't be a flop, <coughs> but I, I don't think he'll do fantastic. Mm. And, like, it's with price tag in mind. So, yes, he'll do better than some players, but if that player's only cost 5 million, then obviously 72 versus 5 or whatever Sancho cost. Um, yeah, for me, as a bold claim, I'll go Sancho. Well, well, this this category is not many to pick from. Be honest, there is Sancho, there is Ronaldo, because okay, let's say they didn't face me, they're playing heaps of week, and you expect thirty goals from him this season. Um, and no, you could you no, could I throw. Well, yeah, it's, look, it depends. So again, that it depends on what you're thinking. Ronaldo won't get thirty goals in all in all in all in all games in all no, leagues. I everything. Think so. I, th I think I think tw I think twenty. Uh, it, it, maybe, but I, th I, th I think it's going to be more 20. Could be yeah, more. Right. He's, he's, the, he's another new penalty taker, isn't he? Like, yeah. Potentially, we don't know. I assume so, but more I'm not yeah. based on... For me, no, do you know why I wouldn't put him there? Because I can't say a guy that gets 20 goals is a flop. I don't care if his name's Cristiano Ronaldo or Fred Smith. Like, yeah. And I think he will get 20. I think if you're expecting 30, then there's a half an argument to put him in the flop if he... But not, I don't think any man who scores 20 goals is, is a flop. Yeah, mm -hmm. agreed. Fair opinion. enough, fair enough. Um, and the only other one I can kind of put in the category because we kind of did pay a lot of money for him is Ben White. Like, where's you know, the expectations just, there? 
I, I, I considered that because I think we'll be a bit leaky and people will blame him for it. But then yeah, yeah. my other my second consider- consideration after Sancho <coughs> was Romero at Tottenham because they basically played the same money as, as Ben White. He looked oh, shaky yeah. as fuck against a club I've never heard of in the Conference League. Now he's, bat- he's out for 10 days because he's been arrested in Brazil. He hasn't been arrested, <laughs> but he's got a quarantine. Like... Mm-hmm. I just and they've not conceded in three games, so it's like where does he even fit in? I think the first game he'd be able to play is against us. They're not going to bring him in for that, especially if their defense carries on how it is. Then there's one more game, then there's another international break. So you're like, you've you've paid fifty million for this guy, and he's not going to play until the end of October, and then is he even going to get in the team? I I, I think Ben White's a lot safer, but I, I did actually consider Ben White for this category, even though I actually I don't think he'll be poor. But I think because we've paid so much for him, people will blame him every time anything happens, whether he's playing or not. Oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah. But but then I ask, what am I expecting here from Ben White? Like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, how do you – how does he go above expectations the, the other way? Like, because he's not a goal – he's not the bloke who's going to score the goals. Are we going on clean sheets or where are we going? Like – yeah, no, this is where this is where this is where watching football with your eyes and not numbers yeah. on a piece of paper will tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other one, I can't honestly think of too many other players in this category. So, in some, I, I'm 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 with you, Tony. I think Sancho is a lot of money, and I think you're going to be expecting him to start majority of games. So you're going to be putting him up. What are we? What are we thinking? Sanchez, you know, in that, when Sanchez was at Arsenal, we thinking like them that kind of expectations for Sanchez. Yeah, I, I would. Like, I would say United fans are probably expecting like thirty goal involvements, goals and assists. But for for because what he's been doing in Germany and the money they've paid for him, and yeah. I, I can't see him getting anywhere near that. Um, yeah. Again, could be completely wrong. I also don't think they're going to play him in the right position. Which and Ronaldo's going to want release early, and he's not a release early kind of guy, which could lead to him not being in the team. They're actually, if he plays on the right, which is where he's expected to play, they actually got a bit of an issue there because one, one Bissaka is not going to get the ball in early to Ronaldo, and and neither is Sancho, which then caused an issue. And then if they move Greenwood out there, he's obviously left footed, so he'll have to cut inside, which means it's not going to be released early to Ronaldo. I think he actually, I mean, they've got a few issues there, but they're going to come above us, so. Do they give a mm. shit? Yeah, true, true. Um, yeah, so I'm going with Sancho. Uh, Addy, who have you got, buddy? I'm a, yeah, I've, I've got Ben White. Yeah, I've got ben yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Ben, we spent big hard. money. Me and you spent big money, and there's not many others that really. Or top, but, I mean, top. there's a, like you, you, we're looking at crazy fees, but they can still be flops at, at lower fees. So, like, someone like Canate, I just don't even think is going to play, and they spent £35 million on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think this guy will be, but if Ings doesn't score 15 goals, pay him £30 million yeah, for a 29 year old seems crazy. Yeah, true. Like, true. Yeah. I mean, I think Ings will do well. He's, he's just a good player. Even, but I'm even, saying um, you can still be a flop at a lower... Oh, it's just, just you go for the expectation, you expect the, uh, what you expect yeah. of them. You got Bungia. Yeah. He's, he went to mm. Villa, but then I think he's gonna actually do well at, at, at Villa. But again, that uh, you could have a flop there. Even Leicester, Leicester, Leicester signed that um, that young uh, striker, Daka, Preston Daka. Yeah, so he yeah, won't do anything. Yeah, yeah, he oh, won't West, do exactly West Ham that. made a few signings, didn't they? Uh, I'll try Zuma to oh, could, could have issues. They made Zuma. They signed Vlasic, and that's right. Yeah, they got that Brown. See that, but Vlasic, Vlasic, I don't have any expectation for him. Like, again, they paid like, decent uh, money, though. Yeah, but then with me, like, I, I, I give all these foreigners. Uh, again, as I said earlier, certain certain players can come in and light up the league straight away. Uh, like, for example, Party. Did Vlasic, party Vlasic has been here before. Has he? Yeah, he played for Everton for like three years. Ah, okay. I'm not. I'm not putting him in my flop. I'm just saying that there is yeah. people of lower fees that that could be flop. That like, could flop. Yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. have to be your fifty million pound player. Like right? you can get a ten million pound flop. In, in oh, those they, they signed Jess Lingard too. Didn't no, they didn't. No, 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 no loan wasn't it? Free? No, no nothing. Loan. He's still at United. He's still at United. Oh. 
United wanted a fee. Ah. They didn't want to send him out on loan. L- Lingard refused yeah. in the end. Okay, okay. Well, this fucking mob's fucked. I need to update their fucking website, you queer cunts. Um, right, uh, who? Uh, the, the only other one, Jack Grealish, I guess, but I, I don't think he flops. Nah, <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> but then, um, see that. But then, that's a good question. What is a a poor season for him, considering a hundred million? Again, he's one of the main reasons I love Grealish is because he's a throwback player where. You don't look at his numbers because his numbers last year were shy. But you watch him and you know he's fucking unbelievable. Yeah. And so this is where like the the stats guys will could have Grealish as a flop. It wouldn't surprise me. But watching actually football and understanding what you're looking at, I'm almost certain he won't be. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Just going on the couple of games he's played now, he's wow. Uh, yeah, he's just fucking good. <laughs> he's, he's good. He's dangerous. Every time they pass in the ball, you think, oh, fuck. like, he's just that kind of player. So, uh, I know people are going to look at assists and goals, but if he's, what's the word? Like, um, he's that player who can not do much and still good, but he's good. You know what I'm like? Um, like the positioning of the bloke. Like, he just, I'd hate to be defending against him, you know what I mean? Like he just slips in through the gaps and it's like fuck. So I don't know if goals and assists will be what he judge. Well he will be No, that's what I'm saying. If you there. just look at numbers, then there probably will be an argument for him to be a flop. But if you actually watch mm. what he does, then yeah, it's almost just certainly crazy right. what he does. Absolutely crazy. Um Addy, we need an answer, buddy. I'll give you a point oh, of thinking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said Ben White. I said Ben White. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right on. First manager sack, boys. The <laughs> go on, Addy. <laughs> I already know. I, I I think Arteta's gone. Is gone first. Uh, I don't even know the geezer's name, but it's just a safe bet in football to say whoever the fuck the Watford manager is. Watford managers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That is so true. That is actually so true. Um, <laughs> yeah. <It's so> <laughs> Who is his name? <laughs> I don't know. Is it not the Dracula guy or is he gone? I don't, I don't know. They change. I do. If I hear his name, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's the guy. But it's not even <laughs> worth learning their names because by the time you do, they're, they're sad. They're gone. <laughs> yeah, I can't think. I've got to have a look now who his fucking name is. But yeah, yeah I agree. Watford, uh, we put them for relegation. Like, sure. Oh, but- yeah. It's- uh, uh, Cisco, yeah. Cisco. Is that his name? Is it? Yeah, it doesn't even still ring a fucking bell for me. Yeah, no, it's a random. I've never seen this guy before. But yeah, no, they they had one Dracula guy last year. Oh, uh, actually, funny enough, yeah. Well, look, I'm I'm agreeing with you. I'm I'm in Arteta's camp. I think you, you know we're we're talking next three games. Um, mm-hmm. if they're three games losses, that's six games without a point on the board and international break. That they've just. They're just going to be forced to, hey, you're out, mate. Like We've got to fucking fix this. I think at some point they hit the panic button and go, you know, look, we might, he might go on and win those three games and they keep giving him a chance. But I just think his chances are, could be limited to bursts of games. Like three losses up front is a fucking bad start. So... I kind of feel like Ted is going to be chasing his tail for the majority of the season. Like, if he wins one, loses two, well, they're looking, oh, that's three points on the board. And, okay, we'll give you another couple more games. At some point, they're going to have to say, you're the bloke or you're not the bloke. And I think they have said, you're the bloke. But let's, they're not going to let, you know, if, if Arsenal's looking at relegation and fucking whatnot, oh, well, yeah. So I think he'll be the first gone out the door at some stage. Um I just had a quick look at the odds and whatnot um, on managers. They're saying Arteta's leading. They're saying Vieira's in second place for Palace, which was interesting. Um, uh, uh, me, for me, yeah, why I don't think Vieira will get sacked is because what who who was it? Was it not not the ball? That was there that that stung out the place before they got Roy Hodgson. That, that's oh, yeah, that's yeah. why I think Vieira's 
That's why I think the air is short in the betting because they did bomb De Boer off so early, rightly. But people are thinking, oh, yeah. they've got that in them to, to fuck a manager up yeah, after yeah. 10 games or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. But then I, um, I think the ball lost all these matches, yeah. But I think Vieira's got saying about it. I think Vieira, I don't think Vieira, I think Vieira will, will stay. I, do you know what? Um, I actually, I think he's a trash manager well, from what I've seen, but they've got some good players. I like Goy, I like Conor Gallagher, I really like him. Eduard, the jury's out, but he's better than Ben Teke, or he should be better than Ben Teke. Oh, I think yes, they've actually yes. signed quite well. Joachim yeah. Anderson is a decent player. Like, I think they've signed quite well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, look, he, he should. Yeah. He, 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 look, that, that, that game against West Ham, the 2 2 draw, I was like, okay, we, we might start seeing some some changes here because them first two games, I'll be honest, they were fucking dreadful um, for Palace. So, um, the Watford bloke, he runs in third. Steve Bruce, fourth. And then Southampton, Wolves manager, Burnley, Austin Villa, Austin Villa. Um, Norwich, and then it keeps going down to Leeds. Everton. <laughs> Rafa, they won't sack him. He's the best thing they've fucking saw. Um, okay, so that's... Who did you say, Gennady? Arteta. Arteta. Arteta, I'm Arteta, I'm And Tony went the Watford boy. I never write that down. Player of the year, Tony? Uh... Is this for Arsenal or the Premier League? I don't know. Uh, Tony's league. written these up, so I've just copied them. I just these. done last year's. Yep. Yeah. Uh, based on another answer that me and Tez are both going to give later, Lukaku. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Mm. Um, I always jump in the De, the, the De Bruyne camp, but then he gets injured. Well, I was but... tempted because I think they're going to win the league and it usually comes from the league winner. That's what I was just debating, but yeah, I don't know okay. if he'll have the minute. Mm. I think I'll have to go with you. Uh, I'm a Lukaku as well. I fucking hate agreeing with you, but like I've actually put... <laughs> well, I've put Chelsea to win the league and Tony just hit the nail on the head. You've kind of got to go who won the league because that's where they'll go, so... If Lukaku has a great season, scores 20-something goals, it'd be very hard not to give it to him. So, And he's going to be in the headline a lot this year, I think, Lukaku. Whether it's good or bad, I think you know the, the movie is going to be really watching him. Um, Eddie? Me, same team but different player. I'm going, I'm going to go for Kai Havertz. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's a fucking big call, but yeah. <laughs> no, I have that. Okay. Tony, young player of the year? Uh, I mean, this is bullshit because in the Premier League, a young player is anyone under about 700 years old. So I'll go for the guy that gets it every year and say, Trent, it's nonsense. I've said he's about 30 years old and got eight kids, but... He's obviously not. <laughs> but no, the Premier the young player I think is anyone under twenty five. It's a joke. Mm. Addy? No, do you know what? I'm actually gonna give a serious answer rather than just say Trent. Uh, oh, Mason I read Trent. So right, now you want me to look, 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 look. Keep it, keep it as Trent. Keep no, it as I'll, Trent. I'll take it. Yeah. Go on. Who's who's your real bloke? Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood. Okay. Uh there's an obvious answer because everyone likes him. I forgot his player voted. Um, I might give it to Phil Foden. Yeah, that's a good one. I haven't thought about this at all once again. Um, I, I'm just going to go Smith Rowe. I'm I'm amazed neither of you said Saka, be it bearing in mind this player voted and everyone's having an orgasm over him at the moment. I, yeah, I, true. I think true. I, I think we well, I think Arteta's gonna let him down. If Conte comes in that then I might might um <laughs> Are you I'm still on this Conte fucking bandwagon? Man, I'm telling you now, <laughs> don't worry. I've got I've got in, in, insider's knowledge. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Um, okay. Who's your surprise package player for the year? Mm. 
You got any, Tony? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> I think, and like, how do we even put that in a category? Surprise player because there hasn't well, really. Been... Yeah, I thought it was a. I thought it was a team. Well, let's go. Let's change it. It says, "Oh, surprise package, player or team." Sorry, I've never seen. Oh that. yeah, 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 perfect. Yeah, a player yeah. or team. So yeah, let's let's go with team because, like, really, like, player is so fucking hard. I, I actually have. I actually have one. Is it going to be Leeds again? <laughs> <laughs> is that what he went last year, Leeds? It's what he's answered to every question is Leeds. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Tony's still thinking. Yeah, go on, Addy. Give your answer because I'm. Um... You, you know what? Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> <It's> say Leeds. <laughs> Leeds. Yeah, because. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's Leeds. Yeah, no. <laughs> are you going with Leeds? I'm going with Leeds. No, I think oh, Leeds are going to be fine. Really? Mate, are you sure Yo- you're not really a Leeds fan? Just put Bielsa Ball is going to be. Uh, you know what? Bielsa is another one of the managers on my list, you know. I'll take him. Yeah, I don't mind. He's all right. I don't mind. I, I love how he, I like how he sends fucking blokes to check on their trainer. <laughs> no, that's fucking gold. <laughs> Go over there and see what them fuckers are doing. Would you? <laughs> that's fucking classic. Yeah, just keep over the peep oh. over the edge. Oh. I thought fucking only us blokes over here in Australia do shit like that. But ah, oh, fuck it, that was a classic when I seen that. <laughs> or read about it, I should say. Uh, come on, Tony, you got something? I know you want to say something. I'm waiting for you. I definitely don't. I'm waiting for you. Um. I'm going to go, and I'll fucking give them a bit of shit saying they're going to be a bit of a struggle, but it could be the flip of the coin on the other one, and they could really have a good season because then I thought about you, Tony, said they have signed well. So Vieira, Crystal Palace, could Mm -hmm. be the surprise. And a surprise for Crystal Palace would be, what, eighth, we're thinking? Seventh, eighth? Oh, massive. Yeah, no, yeah, that'd be that would be massive. Yeah. yeah, that would be massive. So, so you, you know, when I say surprise, I'm not sitting... If yeah, they've yeah. come 13, 14 for coach, no surprise. <laughs> but 7th, 8th, 9th, I think I think I can have me more surprise. I think Crystal Palace top 12 is a surprise. Yeah, I agree. I think 14 is the point you go, oh, you can't really be surprised because usually between like 14 and 17, it's... There's what one or two points. It's basically been done for ages, and everyone stopped caring. Mm. Um, but yeah, it, like anything, like twelfth and above for me. Yeah, I'd say that's, that's okay. Well, I'm surprise. throwing the, I'm throwing Crystal Palace in there, even though I put shit on them, thinking maybe the first team relegated and stuff. But it just can go either way. I think they're they're a team who can go either way. West Ham's another one I'm that could a... be a surprise. Fuck, hang on. Mate. I don't know yet. Yeah, do you know what? I don't know if you can have them because they come fifth or sixth. It's like Mate. a bit. If they come eighth or ninth, is that a surprise? They've gone down. Like not that obviously not. not no, nah, but, just... but I mean they've gone yeah. down. <laughs> but for, for me, yeah, a surprise true. for West Ham will be top six again. Yeah, I agree, yeah, but I'm not sure they'll do that. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the only thing. Are they in Europe? Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, UEFA, uh, Europa League. Are they actually qualified? Or were they? Did they go? They didn't have to like the oh, top, top they... six go straight in. Yeah, they were top, well, top six. Not top six, because that was their banana skin. Every every other time they qualified, but they couldn't get past uh, the, the qualifier. And yeah. the thing is, but usually they don't sign. Now I'm not saying they sign the best players, but they bring three or three or four bodies in, which you know is all you need for Europa League. Their biggest yeah. danger is they've only got one striker. If Antonio's hamstrings pop, which they will, uh, then they're going to have to move Bowen from the right wing to to up front, which it obviously is nowhere near as good and it changed their whole style of play. Yeah. They then yeah. will also need to play Yarmolenko who refuses to defend and can't use his right foot, but <laughs> his left foot's an absolute wand. Mm-hmm. Like so I think it'll be interesting to see what they do in Europa League groups if they think we've got enough to get through without Antonio and just save him for the league or, or vice versa. Because they're treading on eggshells with a, a guy that is obviously very good and very suited to how they play, but his hamstrings will go at least once this season. How old's Antonio? 28, 29. Yeah, okay. Wow. I, I just, yeah, I, I actually didn't think he was that old. So, yeah, okay. Just, I, I just, I think, I don't know what it is, but 
he's come onto my radar this season, you know, these couple of games. I'm like, holy fuck. Like, I hadn't, I don't know if I, you know, he stuck out much last season. Like, yeah. He's probably been their best player in, in all three of their games. Yeah, like, he's fucking been great. Like, and that's why it's probably I've gone, holy shit. But yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, uh, MWA Gunner, not on YouTube. Apologise, buddy. Yeah, we I've had technical issues on YouTube for some reason. They dropped us out. So um, a few are coming over to Twitter and Twitch. We are going out on there as well. Come on, Tony. You got to give me something. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I've been waiting for you to shout. I'm gonna go with a player, uh, and I'm gonna go Ferran Torres okay. because yeah, I think he'll play is. a lot of games up front. Yeah, it's not a bad shot, actually. You really thought about that, didn't you? Uh huh. <laughs> Underperformer. Underperformer. You know what? I'm actually going to say, and this could be a bit of a cheat, Everton. Because they are they have signed a okay, they've got Rafa in. I'm thinking their expectations are at six, five, six. No chance. No chance, yeah. I think they are, but I think they that's where their expectations and the fans are like they've spent a lot of money. They've, they've spent a lot of money on a coach as well or a manager, and I think... They've spent nothing. Yeah, but if they finish 10th, 11th, 12th, that's a fucking underperformer for Everton. Of course it is. Yeah, so I I'm thinking... I don't think... I don't think. Yeah. Well, underperformer. But they've not, they've not spent anything. My, I mean, my answer is easy for me. It's because I know our fan base are going, ah, oh, we got to get back in the yeah, top six. Not awesome. a fucking hoping yeah, hell we get in the yeah. yeah. But I'm not taking uh, that. No, 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 no. I'm not taking that. If you fellas go Arsenal and you're expecting the top six, you're fucking gone. You know, I'm not taking it. Expectations are 10th. Anything above 10th. No, they're not. Good. That's where we'll come. No, <laughs> that's where we'll come. That's not what the expectations are, which yeah, is why my answer is Arsenal. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm the same with uh, Tony. Yeah. Because really and truly, our expectations should be top six realistically, but we ain't we ain't gonna get top six, hundred percent. Another easy one's Man United. They're expecting a top three to four. If they don't get that, no, they do. Well, no, that's I agree. I agree with your answer, but for the wrong reason. They're expecting to win the league because of Sam Ronaldo. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, they true. came second. They yeah. last year, yeah, and they came second, so well, they're like, Oh, we signed for Ram, Sancho, Ronaldo, we've not lost anyone really, apart from Dan yeah. James, and yeah. they ain't winning it, so they're not winning it, yeah. The, yeah, that's that's a reasonable answer as well. What is it underperforming? But team? it's going to be it's going to be hard to argue it if they come second, yeah. Actually, no, I'm going to change everything, I'm, I'm going to stick away from Everton, I'm going to say Leicester City as the underperforming team because they're now a team where. I think that, you know, Top like, six. yeah, they're, they're there. And I think they're a team that, yeah, I think I'm performing. They, they burnt me last year, so I'm not saying them. But <laughs> I, don't, I think it's a very good answer. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I was just I going think, through the teams. Yeah, I think they'll get top six. I think they'll get top six. Well, yeah, what's you where they are now. That's where they are now, top six. They're a top, they're a top six club. Yeah, yeah, they're, not, yeah like, definitely they're top six. Yeah. I, I just think. I just think their whole team is built around Vardy and his legs will not carry the season. And they didn't last season, but they got away with it. And yeah, I know they've me. brought in Dakar and whatnot, but it's a different style. You have to, they have to change their whole style when Vardy's not there and they struggle with it. And the same with Ian Nacho. That the reason they got away with it is because Ian Nacho played like he was messy for the last two months of the yeah. season. I, yeah. I don't think that's his level. I think he had a good spell. And that's why I think they, they won't do as well as what they would probably expect. Yeah. Addy, you so you're Arsenal, Tony's Arsenal, I'm Leicester. Um, okay, boys, golden boot, mine's simple, but, and I've yeah, probably mine's, mine's simple as well. Yeah. Lukaku, Lukaku, Lukaku. Yep. yeah, yeah, he is a fucking beast, an absolute beast. Um, boys, that's it for the categories, unless there was anything else that I missed. Um, I think there was Tony. Oh, <laughs> my Tony had a little bit of a um, should we or shouldn't we moment. Uh, Europa, uh, 
Europa One. No one cares. Europa. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. Um, I don't even know who. Yeah, yeah that, and uh, Tony's like, no one cares. And I said, oh, but Roma could win it. But then I don't think they're, they're not even in it. it. They're not even in it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So I don't worry about it. Fuck it. Fuck that. That's why we didn't do that. Um, that's about it, boys, I think. That's, I'm just looking through my little notes. I was um and ah and about, uh, you know, looking into the, the transfer window on January, but I thought, no, nah, that's way far. The, ball, yeah. the crystal ball cannot handle that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll pack the crystal ball away from that one for sure because, yeah. Um, that's about it, boys. I've got a couple of questions to get through, and I've got to shout a couple of promos. Uh, you didn't have any girls there? Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, life, I did with your message. And Golson fan, uh, Tony, you're probably in the best position to read this. What do you got? Uh, I'll read it. Uh, answer it. What do you guys make at the stadium? Looks like it's fading in the sun and the owners don't care. I, I don't know if he's legitimately asking if it's fading in the sun or what. Yeah, no, he is asking a genuine question. My answer is I couldn't give a flying fuck. The red on the outside of the stadium's faded a bit. Okay. I don't think it's a job where it could just be painted. Like, mm. I, obviously, like I've been to a lot of stadiums. Old Trafford has fucking holes in the roof. Like a bit. It's one of them things that we're down on Arsenal at the moment. So let's pick on absolutely everything. Like most people couldn't even tell you what's on the outside of most club stadiums. But because Arsenal are having a bad time, the media and uh, chose to report, oh, the red isn't red enough. Literally no one cares. Like when, especially like, I'm not saying Golson fan in particular, but if he tells me what's outside of Anfield or outside of Goodison Park or outside of St. James's Park and, and why that's a problem, then we can talk about what's outside Arsenal being a problem. The thing is, the truth is no one knows or cares what is outside any Premier League ground, but now suddenly it's an issue. No, fair enough. I, like Agreed. I said, I, I didn't even realise. So I, I, I had no... Oh, well, I don't know. I've got nothing. <laughs> and even if I did go there, um, and when I do eventually get there, yeah, I yeah, don't really be looking at that. So. Some cunt has got a fucking grinder in the background. Like, seriously? Man's trying to do a fucking show here. Look at these cunts. <laughs> okay, that's about us. Um, we will probably pop back at some stage. Um, I've got to try and find a Norwich City fan, Burnley fan. I know a few Tottenham fans as well, so look out for that. We'll get that up on the podcast, uh, patrons. There's going to be some stuff coming for you boys. Uh, yesterday, I also launched a merchandise store, so... Um, because a few people had been asking, oh, can we get mugged? Can we get a shirt? I've literally put is fucking no profit on it. It's what I pay for it, and it's print to order. So um, this cunt is really bugging the fuck out of me. I don't know if you can hear him in the background or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I apologise for that. Um, so, yeah, yeah, look out for that link on our socials. I'll be sharing that around everything. Um and basically, Tony, I can get you a fucking mug, so and I can get Addy a shirt and things like that, and I can actually mm. give away some stuff. Or um, yeah, no, Addy, don't cheer. He says he can. He fucking won't. It's been like five <laughs> years. I've never seen <laughs> I will actually order some shit for you boys, okay? And I'll send it over to you. <laughs> do, do you know? Do you know the worst thing? The quote on the T-shirt is fucking my quote, and I still don't get one. <laughs> it is your quote. Watch football with your eyes. I know. <laughs> uh, I tried to put a couple of my quotes there, but they wouldn't accept the word cunt. So I was like, oh, that's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> um, anyway, boys, it's been a pleasure as always, and speak to you again shortly. Good night, goodbye, and thank you for listening, everybody. Thank you for downloading. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers.